ladies and gentlemen. Sure my hair is fixed nice make sure you all can see my dimples my gap tooth my illustrious immaculate splendid superb accent yes okay enough with the mediocrity so today I'd like to um, do an extension of composing and arranging by air. Um, primarily arranging music by air. And I would say this is probably one of my finest, one of my best arrangements in its most simplistic form. And the reason I like this one particular arrangement by air is because it's done in standard tuning and it's done in the first position. And what I love about the first position arranging um, any particular song in the key of C, all the notes are laid out for you, because in the because the way the the way the the notes are on the instrument, the guitar E B G D A E, right, and in the C major scale there are no sharps or flats. It's C D E F G A B C. So all the notes. like to I look so freaking handsome yo I can't get over myself my apology nevertheless so what was I saying <laughs> this is one unprofessional video this is the worst guitar tutorial the world has ever seen. I swear. Um, I want to discuss psychophysics, in the relationship between physical stimulation and mental phenomena. Um, psychoacoustics that I'd like also like to discuss later on in the video, um, and the physics of sound. You know, because I don't just study um, how music works musicology or from a music from a musical perspective I also study uh, the physics of sound you know you know why sound is a collision of air molecules you know oh yeah. sound you know we're looking at sound from a physics perspective you know you're dealing with the collision of air molecules and this air molecules yep it's a co collision and when you look at sound from a physics perspective, sound is a very fundamental basic phenomenon. There's an impact, and this impact derives from a force. So there's a force, and this force creates an impact, and this impact creates a vibration, and this vibration creates an intensity, and this intensity propagates as a collision of air molecules throughout nature, and it propagates and it expands at 700 miles an hour or more. And while this song, while this song travels, it has amplitude, it has frequency, it has velocity, it has acceleration, it has momentum. You know, you know. Amplitude is the loudness. Frequency is the pitch. Uh, amplitude, frequency, velocity is the speed at which the song travel right acceleration is the speed at which this, this the, the, the the sound picks up and momentum is the consistency of that velocity as that sound as that song 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 put your thoughts together you can't even articulate this that propagates in nature that's from a physics perspective that's a physics of sound that's the physics interpretation of sound Amplitude, frequency, velocity, acceleration, momentum, right? And it propagates in nature, right? 
as mechanical waves. You have a crest, you have a trough, and then you have a sort of like an equilibrium between the crest and the trough. And to me, music from a physics perspective is quite a fascinating phenomenon. Um, but the whole objective of this video is not to discuss the physics of sound, but get into the actual, the, the theoretical aspect of music. Uh, I, I kind of venture into the theoretical aspect of music inadvertently while studying um, um, linguistics, um, semantic ambiguity. You know, linguistics have many subfields. You have phonetics, phonology, morphology, syntax, semantics, pragmatics, applied linguistics, sociolinguistics, psycholinguistics, and the philosophical aspect of, um, of language. And while studying semantic ambiguity, I was um, studying things like um, figurative and rhetorical devices. You know, rhetorical fig figurative devices is a, um, a figure of speech. You know, things like metaphors and analogy we find quite prevalent in figurative devices. Rhetorical devices is where the ambiguity, the semantic ambiguity in literary devices, in rhetorical devices, derive from the tonality. You know, like a sarcastic statement, or a condescending statement, or, or an ironic statement. You know, we, we tend to notice that a condescending statement has a, the tonality the tonality from a, from a phonetics and a phonological perspective, uh, a condescending statement tends to descend, and a sarcastic statement s tends to ascend. Right? Uh, so when you look at irony, you look at sarcasm, you look at condescension, we would, what we would notice is that uh, all of them, all three of these rhetorical devices in semantic ambiguity, the ambiguity of the, the rhetorical devices derives from the tone, the phonological features. You know, it's a literal statement, but the contrasting interpretation derives from tone. Um, so, and what determines a, a sarcasm when the statement is literal? It actually has to do with human biology in terms of how we interpret things like intonation, inflection, cadence and tonal, tonal modulation, my apology. So I, I inadvertently and intermittently stumbled across music, music theory, by actually studying the physics of music and discovering um, that, that, that music and linguistics is really an interdisciplinary field of study. It really is interdisciplinary and, and, and physics because when you get down into um, literary devices, all figurative, primarily rhetorical devices is really conducive, that contrast in interpretation, that polarity in, in literal statements really derives from things like intonation, you know, inflection, cadence, tonal modulation, you know, intonation is the, is the, is the, is the, is the rise and fall in speech, you know. Inflection is the rise and fall in the former, the middle or the latter of a speech, right. Um, cadence is the consistency of that rise and fall in the former, middle or latter of a speech. And modulation is that rise and fall throughout the entire speech, Right, and when you look at sarcastic statement, condescending statement, and, and ironic statements in literary, literary devices, what we see is this, this, again, tone, tonality. So the whole objective here today is not to venture too much into the linguistics or the linguistics phonetics of sound or the linguistics phonology of sound or the physics of sound, but we're going to place a primary emphasis not so much on the theoretical aspect of music um, because we could discuss this one particular arrangement in terms of the chromatic scales the diatonic scales and you know what is musical octaves and major minor diminished augmented sus chords um, 
but we're not going to place an emphasis too much on music theory i could never say that word i have the song here so this is one of my arrangements it's called uh, with or without you by you two and i love this arrangement because it was one of my effortless arrangements done by air and i was it, I, it, I was able to decipher this particular song in the, in the standard tune um, so shall we sing and play. they're going to say really I really enjoy this arrangement and every it just falls I'm such a bad teacher this is the first part see the stone set in your eyes see the thorn twist in your side I wait for you and when you when you're arranging a song you want to feel it <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's feel it sounding creepy. You want to, you want to, you want to feel the music. You, 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 that's why you look at some musicians like BB King and Jimi Hendrix, and you could they, they, it's like they're having intercourse with the instrument. You know, you feel it like. So you want to feel it. You don't just 
first one to do. Now you want to. You want to put your, your heart and soul into the instrument. One example is this. you have a, a solo pee. What am I doing? I'm supposed to be playing with or without you. I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. Where was I? With the, what? This, this one. I'm so disappointed in myself right now. Where was I? So, yeah, you want to... Vibrato, vibrato, you know? What happened to the with or without you song? I have no idea. This is such a disaster. Fix your hair. Okay. So. Fail. This is such a failure video. I have, I, where was I? Okay. I'm, I'm falling now. I'm falling. Listen, let's cancel this <laughs> because obviously it's not working. Let's try something completely, completely, completely different. And that is how to, how to, how to make love with your instrument, how to have such a disaster let's start again with or without you all right so this is the first part hey i never said i was a professional accept my advance apology but this is just not going to work not tonight not tonight some other night 